Thanks, Bob. Uh, welcome to another Cast Iron Ranger. I'm Dan Brooks, and today we're at the Coronado State Monument. They were nice enough to let us go ahead and set up and cook here today. I will be making blue corn antelope enchiladas. Let me just go ahead and show you. We got some blue corn here. We, of course, got some antelope. Lucky enough for my son to get drawn for an antelope, and he got one last year. Uh, I've got some tomatoes and, and green chilies, onions, olives, tomatoes, cheese, more green chili, a little red sauce, a little olive oil, a little taco seasoning, and of course my favorite, garlic salt. Let's get started. First things first, we've got to uh, brown our antelope and put in some key ingredients. Now this should be hot enough because I've already got this going. We also have our coals going. We're going to put a little olive oil down there, open this up, and we are dumping it in. Now, if you can get a close-up of this, you can see this is going to be a little darker than, than your beef because game meat's always darker. I've got one in there. Now, I need to go ahead and put one more because we're going to have a big Dutch oven full of these enchiladas. Woo, look at that. We got some sizzle going now. Now, what I want to do right now is get this going real quick. I'm going to start breaking this up. I like the olive oil because it's going to add a little more flavor to your game. Let me move around here. This is just taco seasoning, and I got to tell you, this just takes a little eye. You're going to put this on here just like this, just about like that. Oh, maybe a dab more. Now we're ready. Now we just got to start working this. Because remember, these discs cook really fast, and we want to really start working this up. While the antelope's brown, and I'll just have to move over here real quick, we also want to prepare our Dutch oven, and that will only take just a second. You've probably seen on previous shows, we just need to line the bottom real quick with a little tin foil so that our stuff doesn't stick. This is always going to be the key to not burning uh, whatever you're cooking. All right, this has been on, oh, about eight, ten minutes. Looking good. Let me just grab a tupper to put this in real quick. Um, because we'll have to also heat up our blue corn tortillas. So, just going to put that in there. Now we're going to move over and grab some of our blue corn, and we need just a little more olive oil now. Because what we're going to do is we're just going to soften our tortillas just a little bit. Now, here's the great thing about using a disc. Look at that. We're going to just move that around a smidge. Mm. Just going to move those around, stick those in there, do the same thing here. All right, now take this, see, and you're going to just throw those in there. This is going to be our bottom layer here, and I like to do the ones that are the most oiled. All right, now we're ready for our meats. All right, now here's going to be our first layer here. We're going to put in just a little bit of this. Let's put in a little bit of our red sauce there. Okay, now comes our uh, little bit of red chili. Now I like to use a little layer of cheese. I'm going to start to use that. And you can see I'm pretty liberal with some of this stuff. I like to use now just a little bit of this in there. We're going to top that off. All right. Now we're going to finish up a few green tomatoes, green tomatoes, red tomatoes. I'm looking at the green chili. I'm already uh, ready for that. Woo, look at that. We are just going to put that out on here. Look at that. Ready to be buttoned up. Let's close this up and move to the coals. Now we're going to cook from the top. Uh, that's going to be important. We're going to cook from the top about 30 minutes. Now these coals have been going, so they're good. They're going to be extremely hot. And of course, we've already made sure the lid was sealed. So now we just got to put these coals around the top. It's been about 30 minutes, and I just cannot resist a look. And of course, ever so delicately, be a little careful of the ash, 
Let's just open this up and let me see. Ooh, yeah. Now, that tells me that it's time for us to go ahead and put this on the bottom coals for about 10 or 15 minutes. Ooh, this is one heavy dude. Oh. Now, that's the final spot. For 15 minutes, it'll stay there, and it should be ready. It's been about 45 minutes, and it's time to take these off. Let me just grab these. 20 pounds of enchiladas here. Oh, the State Monument provided me an adobe. Thank you, State Monument. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, now, the delicate part, I gotta get the lid off. This is always tricky. Ever so carefully. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right, who wants the first bowl full? That'd be me. All right. Ooh. All right, okay. Oh, oh, thank you. Look at that. Thank mm -hmm. you. All right, Alex, you're next. All right. That's great, thank you so much. Fantastic. Oh, it smells awesome. Yeah. Okay. Well, dig in and All tell right. me how it is. Oh, that's amazing. Wow. You did good. <laughs>